good people, it's me again Blunt Ted, it's another episode of Blunt Ted Talks. Now first of all, thank you very much for clicking on the video. Second of all, thank you very much to all new subscribers that have come in this last week. Uh, if you've not subscribed already, can I please ask that you do so. We've got a great new game show that's coming out in the next few weeks. That's going to coincide with the start of the season. Um, and I'm just going to be reporting more news and getting on with more stuff. We've got some more physical, shooty, football-y type things that's coming up soon as well. That's going to be fun. So if you want to get yourself involved with that, then yeah, just keep an eye on the channel. So yeah, today's news. Um, before I start, it's to be noted, Mike Ashley's been on a splendid spree again today. You've probably seen this already. So uh, all this talk about him being broke and needing to sell the club, I don't know, man. Seems like bollocks to me. Could be wrong, but it seems like bollocks. Um, I've been saying it for a while, but I don't think he's as desperate to sell Newcastle as he makes out to be, you know? So um, yeah, enough of that anyway, enough of that fact get on to today's news. So finally, Newcastle United, we've brought someone in, you know? Albeit it was, you know, it was um, a midfielder. It's not a striker that we've been looking for, but you know, I think we do need somebody in midfield, but yeah, it's Hendrick. As we all knew he was coming in, he's been having the medical that's been going on for like nearly a week or something. Longest medical in history, never known anything like it. To be honest, I was beginning to think that it was all just paper talk and it wasn't actually happening up until I've seen him in a Newcastle shirt today. Now, it's made a statement, I'll put it here on the screen rather than reading it out. Um, Steve Bruce has also, you know, he's had a few things to say about it. He's been after this guy for a while. There's statements here as well. Um, so, yeah, he's quite excited about it all. Um, just hopefully now we can bring in a striker. We've, you know, we've kept Matty. Like, is Matty going to get loaned out? Is he going to get the number 10? What's going to happen? There's some competition for the number 10 now, which is good to see. You know, so, you know, I've been arguing with a lot of people this last few days on Twitter and Facebook who just... All out saying Newcastle, we're getting relegated this season, 100%. That's what they're saying, but I don't believe it, man. You know, I'm I'm thinking positively. I think Bruce has seen some of the mistakes that were made last season, and he's trying to right them. He seems to be listening to the fans a little bit more because although we haven't brought in a new striker yet, you know, a proven goal scorer, you know, he's talking about it, so he, you know, he wants it. And to look at the transfers in general during this mid-season break or this middle of season's break, whatever you want to call it, then there's not been a lot going on in general all round for all clubs. So I feel like we are that little bit stronger. Just if he can sort out those tactics and have a little bit more confidence. I don't want to, I don't want to see him, you know, switching formation 20 times in a game, you know. I, I was looking around like Gale last season you know, ASM people, they're looking around, scratching the reds, looking at Bruce constantly because, you know, they've got no confidence that he's going to keep going at it. You know, we go 1-0 down against a club like Man City and they just change the formation. Instead of realising, hold on, we're getting smashed here. Like, he would just start throwing forwards, like, people in ahead, like, what are you doing, bro? Like, what are you doing? Like, now there's just big gaps at the back and then losing another couple of goals, it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I think he's, he's tightened that up a little bit. Um, you know, with that competition for number 10, we should see a few more balls going forwards. Um, so there should be, you know, more opportunities being created, hopefully a few more goals, you know? So I did predict 52 points at the end of the season. That's my prediction. Um, that's on another video. I'll link that at the end of this one, so go watch that if you want. But yeah, like I, you know, I feel a little bit more confident. If he does bring in a goal scorer, I'll be I'll be happy now, you know, happy, and I'll feel 100% confident that we'll be safe, which I think we will anyway. But um, you know, that's it. So yeah, there's um, you know there's some other transfers that seem to be happening. Whether they will or not, I don't know. So I'm not going to even talk about them right now until I do. Up until this point. You know, it's Mighty Longstaff, he's signed a new contract and, you know, today's signing. So, it's all good, like, it's all good right now. Um, still a couple of weeks before the season starts. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's just be positive. Let's try and not just kick the team in the teeth. Mike Ashley is the prick. Let's not slag off the team and just, you know, give them confidence. Let's hope for the best. Oh, yeah, there was another signing as well, actually. Um, young lad's gone to the academy, he's come from Liverpool. Um, so, yeah, there's that as well. You know, it's not really a big deal. Um, 
so that's it that's the end of the video so yeah thank you very much for watching and like i said thank you to all new subscribers that have come in this week and if you're here now still watching and you're not subscribed then please do so so it's me blunt ted another episode of blunt ted talks Thank <laughs> you.